Welcome to the Metro Plus show. We did not plan it this way, but this episode of the Metro Plus show has some beautiful stories of different art forms, from stories of beautiful sketches, people who have tasted success out of sheer passion, and someone who is in the offbeat profession of preserving something that we often overlook. Over the past few weeks, the Metro Plus team has had the chance to meet many art lovers and collectors from the city. But the story that's coming up next is a first of its kind. We take a closer look at Aparajita's life in the dingy room, trying to breathe life into mute paintings that have lost their glory. Aparajita claims that she was crazy about arts since she was a kid. As a student of the Government College of Arts and Crafts, she got a chance to visit many conservation laboratories in museums. Later, while her other classmates were trying to make their signatures more commercially viable, Aprajita took the road less travelled. Graduate studies was in the field of fine arts and we frequented the museum a lot to draw from the exhibits from life. And only then I came to know that there was something called art conservation because uh, I happened to, to meet somebody from the conservation laboratory there. And uh, asking him about this field uh, inspired me, you know, in a sense because it, the field represented a beautiful marriage between two streams of studies. Science, uh, understanding of materials and uh, use of artistic skills and aesthetics. Her passion to conserve the heritage saw her travelling across the globe. She restored glory in monuments as far and historically relevant as the 350-year-old Dorje Chenmo Temple in Shea and the Nizam's extensive collection of photographs in the Chaumala Palace in Hyderabad. After learning small intricacies of art conservation, Aprajita has now settled in Chennai, giving the city's monuments and paintings a much-needed facelift. These were predominantly on-site projects. Uh, I worked on the mural paintings in Ladakh, um, oil paintings and a, and a mixture of collections and uh, prints and things in, in Calcutta uh, as a part of the Asiatic Society collection. I worked on uh, the Ravi Varma paintings and uh, drawings at the Sri Chitra Art Gallery in Trivanantapuram. And, uh, and I also had the privilege of working on the photographs within the Nizam's collection at the Chaumahalla Palace. The profession that sounds attractive in Aprajita's excited banter requires uncompromising physical labour in return. Every time she dons a pair of gloves, she surrenders to long hours of concentration and strain. Sharp instruments, obnoxious solvents and derelict but valuable paintings are all she has for company as she sets about her work every day. Even a small lapse in patience is not allowed as something as minor as a slight change in the temperature or ambient light can undo an entire day's work. This is a very badly damaged painting. It's uh, eaten away by insects, got stains and discolorations, and uh, the painting's, uh, paint is falling off. So, uh, some of the things that we would use to, to treat it would be well, mechanicals, mechanical tools, brushes, uh, uh, scalpels to scrape away well, paper that's sticking to it, maybe some solvents to clean some of the stains, and uh, um, and then loads of paper because it's a paper object and it will involve treating it with paper. The satisfaction lies in the image that surfaces after investing hours of dedication. It's a passion not the paycheck that drives Abrajita as she exults that there is no better sight than that of a painting restored to its original glory or unearthing the artist's name buried under layers of stains and dust. Her good work has seen her earn a good name in no time among the city's artists and art collectors. Uh, clients are predominantly collectors and uh, they, they generally get to know that someone 
is working within the city through word of mouth because they have a friend and they have got their work conserved through me and therefore uh, that's the way the trust is developed and because of that uh, my client a new client comes through and since we are talking about precious priceless antiques and uh, paintings that one has or spent a bomb to buy and, and preserve and enjoy, uh, it needs to go, to go to the right hands and therefore it becomes very, very uh, necessary that someone vouches that this person is doing a wonderful work and that comes only through a word of mouth uh, recommendation. All the moth-eaten paintings and moss-covered pillars are what earn Aprajita her living. She can't help but wish that the society would awaken to playing a more positive role in conserving the heritage. The idea of heritage conservation and preservation has definitely caught on and uh, there are many individuals who are actively collecting and preserving art. Uh, and Though the, the general trend is very positive, the disadvantage comes when you actually don't have enough professionals in the field uh, working actively in art conservation. So the numbers of uh, artifacts are much, much more than the number of professionals who can actually uh, supply, you know, the, that is a demand supply problem. And uh, that is where the difficulty lays. It is interesting to note the amount of patience that is required in this job. Sometimes the holes in the paintings are just a few centimeters wide. The process requires you to find the right filler paper, treat it and cut it to the exact shape and size. So much so that sometimes patching up an inch wide hole can take up to two hours. All this without a break. Thankfully, Metro Plus show we don't bat an eyelid before taking a break. Coming up on the other side, do you know what's a traveling colorist?